In this video, we are going to look at a little maths activity, something that's very, very simple, just to help your child with that mental maths addition. And we're just going to base it on the simple game of knots and crosses. We like to call it XAOZs, Aaron, don't we? Mm -hmm. Or sometimes in America, I think it's tic-tac-toe as well. But we're just going to play a little game of XAOZs first so that you um, have the idea and then we're going to move it into a mental maths capacity. Okay, so Aaron, you've got your colour. Do you want to be X's or O's? X's. Okay, do you want to go first? Yeah. So as you can see, I've just drawn a simple little knots and crosses grid. Aaron's decided he's going to be X, I'm going to be O. And basically the idea is that you get three X's or three O's in a row. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Right, you can go first. Oh, you're going to go for the middle. Mm, I think I will go here. Oh, need to block you. Ha 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 ha. Need to block you again. Oh, I got it. Oh, I thought I'd won. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, Aaron got his three X's in a row first, just as I thought I'd won and I was being really sneaky. Okay, so what we want to do is take this into a uh, maths capacity now. So all I have done is I've prepared the exact same grid but with different maths calculations and again this is easily adapted to whatever your child abil is ability is actually at. So if you want to do all addition or you want to do all subtraction or you want to focus on times tables it's entirely up to you. You set the sums and you set what will challenge your child. So Aaron, this time it's a wee bit more difficult, okay? So you have to still put your X's and your O's in, but you have to do a maths question first, okay? Do you think mm -hmm. you can do it? Yes, sir. That's the one you're gonna choose first? Okay, so basically all you're doing is you're asking your child to choose which square they want. They have to solve the question before they can put their X or their O into that little section and again you're looking for that idea of getting three in a row but just a really nice way of challenging your child and having a little fun game and it doesn't take much time to set up okay so Aaron where are you going to go first tell me which calculation are you going to try and solve first what's that you plus five. Encourage your child to actually read the calculation so that they know exactly what they're doing so zero plus five so how are you going to do this in your head tell me Okay, you're going to do it in your head, but how are you going to do it? What number are you going to put in your head first? Well, five. Why are you putting five first? Because zero is nothing. Okay. Five. So. Right, you have to tell me the answer. It's five. Five plus zero equals? Five. You are correct. Right, you can put your X, put it with a big, nice big X right through that whole number. Put it right through the whole number sentence like this. Da -da. Good boy. Okay, really encourage your child to talk about what they're doing mentally and actually start developing those ideas of putting that biggest number first, especially if it's addition, um, and starting to get them to think about how they're thinking and how they're solving those calculations. Okay, right, mummy is going to do... I think mummy is going to do seven take away two, okay? So do you know what I'm going to do? What? I'm going to put seven in my head because when we're taking away, the biggest number always has to go first, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to count back two, but I'm going to use my fingers, okay? You ready? Mm -hmm. Seven, you have to check if I'm correct or not. Mm -hmm. Seven, and I've got my two fingers, six, five. My answer is five. Am I correct? This is a nice opportunity as well to get your child to double check your calculations. So do feel free to make the odd wee mistake. It shows them that they that making mistakes is absolutely fine and it's natural, but also it gives them a chance to really think about what you're doing as well. Okay, next one, Aaron. What are you going to do now? <gasps> What's that? What's the calculation say? Ten plus four. Oh, can you think of another word that means the same as plus? Add. Good boy, right. So well, tell me what you're going to do. What number are you going to put in your head? First. Hmm, four. Well, is four the biggest number? No. What do you think? It would be easier to put ten in your head because it's the biggest number? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And then what are you going to do? 
So you have at four. Okay, right. So off you go. My answer is fourteen. Right. Let me check. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yes. <gasps> uh oh. Oh, I'm going to have to try and block you now. Okay, so I'll have to do 8 plus 3. Okay, so I'm going to put 3 in my head first. Do you think that would be a good idea? No. Why not? Because you should always put the biggest number. Oh, okay. Okay, so 8. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. 9, 10, 11. My answer is 11. Am I correct? Ooh, I blocked you. Okay, well, right. Now three plus seven. Three plus seven. I'm gonna okay. block you. Oh no, sneaky. Okay, tell me. How are you gonna do it? First put seven in your in your head. Good. And then you're gonna add on three. Okay, good. Off you go then. So just keep encouraging your child to reinforce that idea of putting that biggest number in their head first and to reinforce the idea of actually talking through what they are trying to do in their heads. Because once they can verbalise it, they mm -hmm. know exactly what they're doing and so do you, so you can actually help them. Ten. Okay, let me check. This time I'm not going to put it in my head, I'm going to put it on my fingers, okay? So I'm going to do seven fingers and then I'm going to add on three. One two, three, ten, you are correct. Do show your child as well that there are different ways of solving, like using your fingers or counting forward or counting backwards as well. Ooh. Oh no, I don't know if I, can. if I go there, I can't block you. If I go there, I don't think I can block you. Oh, I'll try here, okay. Right, nine minus three. Okay, so this time I have to count backwards. Okay, so are you ready? Mm -hmm. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Am I right? Let's see. What are you doing? Wrong, you're wrong. <gasps> six. Oh no! Do you get a chance to solve it then? Yeah. Do I get it? Let me just check, you're correct. What did I do that was wrong? You you put the number before the right answer. Mm, I must have took too many away, didn't I? Let me yeah. try again. Let me use my fingers this time. So nine fingers, yeah? Yeah. Take away three. One, two, three. Six, you were right. So I get to do the F. Oh, so who is the winner? Me, me, me. Okay, so as you can see, just a really quick, fun little interactive way of really practicing those mental math skills. And again, it can be suited or set to any ability or any level. You really just want to think about challenging your child and encouraging them to keep talking about their calculations.